Welcome back. The Premier toured the Lloydminster Exhibition Grounds at the Pride of the Prairies Bull Show and talked about issues including education and health care. Tonight, it's uh, my distinct honour to be able to introduce the Premier. Now, after I was nominated, uh, one of the first things that people said to me was, well, what's the Premier like, and uh, have you met her, and when is she going to come visit us? So in the first telephone conversation we had, which was six weeks ago tonight, uh, I said, Premier, we need you to come to Lloydminster, and we'd like you to come visit us, and she said, let's make that happen, and six weeks later, she's here. Today, we have a legacy. We have generations of families that have been able to live in this province, be confident about the future, know that their children are going to be able to continue to have a strong future in this province. Alberta is such a unique province in Canada in terms of the resources that we have and the opportunities that we have. And to me, Lloyd really speaks to that because it's all about being able to let a community grow and become more than it's ever been before. Uh, so it's a pretty exciting time. I caught you mid-fight, I'm sorry. <laughs> so very nice to <laughs> When I ran to be leader of the PC party, I talked about change and I did talk about doing things differently, bringing in new approaches. And uh, I think that that's the nature of what happens. And it's a good thing when that happens in communities. And, you know, the former MLA certainly was a very strong public servant. And I think it's important to thank him for that service. But at this point in time, we have the opportunity to put new people in place with new approaches. We have to change the way that people are accessing health care. We have to talk about family care clinics so that people are getting the medical services that they need to have at the time that they need to have them, which doesn't always involve doctors. Sometimes if we look at the systems differently, it can, it can involve licensed practical nurses or RNs. In fact, Saskatchewan has very good models for that. And as we move forward and improve health care, that's going to be important. So looking towards nurse practitioners more so? Or? Absolutely. It's very important for what comes next with health care. Families have talked about that. So, you know, Evans from Southern Alberta, our Minister of Agriculture, and when we look at families in Southern Alberta, they're saying exactly the same thing. You know, when we look at rural communities and ensuring that there's uh, strength in rural communities and that they're able to be resilient and strong, we have to find ways to deliver services that are relevant to families all across the province. We're recruiting doctors, we're hiring more doctors, we've hired more doctors this year, certainly retaining doctors and making sure that they're working in an environment where they actually want to be working. Oh, we're very happy that she's here, we're thrilled that she's here. On the heels of the Premier's visit, Wild Rose leader Danielle Smith spoke to a crowd of close to 500 in the border city. Lauren Pullen has the details. These two provinces, Saskatchewan and Alberta together, they make up a resource hub that is second to none in the world. She calls it the Sask Berta advantage. But the Prairie Province boom was only part of the agenda at dinner with Danielle. It was a war of words, most of them taking direct aim at Alberta's current government. They think they know best. They think they have all the answers. They don't listen to Albertans. And I think that Albertans are seeing that. They're seeing that this is a government that is not going to change. You can't just change the person at the top and change the culture of the party. But in stark contrast, a change in the culture of the party is exactly what Smith says has happened. Labeling Alison Redford as the first Liberal Premier of Alberta for her progressive push of the PCs. Independent MLA Lloyd Snellgrove has made his opposing opinions of the Premier public, stepping down from the PC party in January. He says we're in for a wild ride come election time. I think this is uh, one of the elections that Albertans will have to stay up late to see what happens. Tackling overspending and skyrocketing operational costs are cornerstones of the Wild Rose platform. The world is at our beck and call, but we do have to get our spending under control, and I think a Wild Rose government would do that. Smith was even bold enough to state, if elected, she'd balance the budget in a year. <laughs> but for now, she'll continue on the campaign trail, trying to garner up support for her candidates across the province, eagerly waiting for an election to be called. And that's been our show for tonight. You can reach us with comments, questions, or story ideas at AroundTheRegion at newcap.ca. I'm Kayla Buchanan, and thanks for watching Around the Region.